Happy Halloween! <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be showing you how we made that Halloween sign with a hidden motion sensor. It's coming up Halloween time, so why not get together with kids over half term or whatever and get yourself crafting. This is just a simple idea, very few basic tools and not so much skill needed. So we'll get on and show you how we made it. So the first thing that we needed, we nipped down to a vintage shop um, and we picked up this frame, started life as a mirror. We'll be taking the mirror out of that. Um, also, we're going to need a pot. We're going to need the sweets, the most important thing to go in this pot or bucket. We've got some timber here we're going to use as a stake. And then, of course, you can decorate it any way you like. But as we did, we've got some black paint for the whole of the frame, some white paint for the lettering and a few little bits. And we've got some leftover glass paint from another project and we're going to be using that to decorate. And the last and most important thing you're going to need is one of these motion sensors. We picked this up from Amazon for £20. It's programmable. You just simply plug it into your computer, drag and drop MP3 files onto that, and it'll record it in here. Um, it can play the same sound over and over again, I think, or you can play a number of different sounds, as we have in this case. So every time somebody comes up to the basket and sets it off, it'll play a different sound. And you can turn the volume up as well. <laughs> right. So once you've got your frame and your motion sensor, you're ready to crack on. So let's crack on. Okay, so we picked up our frame, like I said, from a vintage shop. We really liked this frame. There were others and others that had canvases in there that you could just paint straight onto. But in this case, we've got this mirror to remove. Really simple, just flip the mirror over. And it's just got these little tabs in here. Then I'm just going to lift up yeah, and that'll enable us to take the backing out and the mirror. So that's it, we've got our backing piece off. We need that, we're going to cut out a piece of cardboard as well just to put on the back of this, just to help pad it out a little bit so these clips will hold this back in place when we come to put our frame back together. Once you've got that mirror off, it's ready to prep the frame. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to give it a covering in some black satin paint that we've got, just a one coat. This has already got some gloss paint on there. We're not too concerned if it doesn't stick too well. It, we want a, kind of a rustic effect on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're also going to put the backing back in here. And we're going to pad it out with some cardboard. So we're going to just put this onto cardboard and use this as a stencil just to cut out the backing. So now it's just a simple case of putting these back in there and then we'll get on with the painting. We've got our frame back together. We're just gonna give it a little bit of a key, a bit of a scratch so that some for the paint to adhere to a little bit. We've got some 120 grit sandpaper and we've got a medium um, sanding pad. So we're just gonna go over that, give it a light scratch and then we'll get on painting it with our black paint. Okay, so we're ready to give it a coat of paint. We're just using a satin black paint and it said it's suitable for wood and metal. So we're just gonna go on it, give it one or two coats, just let it dry a little bit in between. And as simple as that. Now you could paint this with spray paint, but you would need to take it outside to a well ventilated area. So that's the reason for us using this, this paint here. Also, if you're making this with the children, you don't really want to be using the aerosols, especially not in the house. Okay, so we've given our frame a first coat of paint and we think it looks great. It looks a little bit gothic. You know, it's kind of the thing we're going for. So we're not gonna give that a second coat. We're just gonna give the backing piece a second coat. And then we're also gonna give the uh, sign post or the stake a coat of paint as well. Okay, so that's a post dry. We're just gonna put that to one side now while we decorate our picture frame. So yeah, we really like the look of it. We like this. Can you see, pick it up on the camera? The gothic look around there. And now it's time to decorate this. Of course, you can decorate it any way you want, but we've got a little design in mind. We're just gonna write on trick or treat on there, a little picture of a ghost, if we can do it. Maybe a cobweb, I'll try and draw that on. And simply gonna attach the post. And we've got a hook as well to put our bucket on that'll be full of sweets. So we'll just crack on and get that done now. We've got an idea of just shortening these bristles just to give more of the effect that we're after. We want it to look 
like it's aged a little bit, maybe some gaps in between the letters, in, be in the actual letters themselves. So I'm just going to cut these bristles down and then we'll, uh, we'll carry on and get it painted. So we had a little sketch that we've had printed off. So we just want to write trick or treat on there. So I'm just going to get it mapped out in pencil first and I'll go over it with our white paint. So I'm not loading the brush too much up with this. I'm just dabbing it on a little bit and I'm trying to make all the, the lines go the same direction. Okay, so that's it. We're just gonna add some cobwebs now. Well, we'll see where we can get them. We're gonna paint them on using some of this leftover glass paint. That's our picture frame. We've decorated that really quickly. And you could just leave it there and put it outside. We could show you how to put a hook on there and the bucket and the stake. But what we're gonna do for a little bit of added fun, we're gonna put this motion sensor on there. So every time somebody walks past, it's gonna play a different tune just for a bit of fun in the garden. You could just mount this on the front there so that everybody sees it, but we're gonna try and hide it so nobody knows it's there. We're gonna stick it to the back and just drill a hole through this so that the motion sensor, the PIR on there still works. So we're just gonna drill a hole. Okay, so we've got our hole drilled. We're gonna give this a test. I'm just gonna hold the motion sensor. Turn, ooh, turn it on. Place that behind there, and oh, that's picking you up. Yeah, so that's working. Oh, right, yeah, so that's working. So I think just as an extra bit of precaution, I'm just going to tape across the back of here. Okay, so we've got the frame upside down, top of the frame. This is going in the bottom corner, so. We're just going to mount it there and we're just going to use some double sided tape. I'm going to stick it on there, hold it on and that should be good enough. So we're going to make sure that the motion sensor is in that hole that we've drilled and then just press that on there. And I think maybe for extra precaution we're going to put a little bit of cloth tape behind it as well. Right, I'm just gonna do a little test and see if this works. <laughs> okay, so that's the motion sensor on there. So the next step, we've simply got the post to put on the back and the hook for the hanging basket. Okay, so we've got this hook that we just found lying around. I think it's off the slat wall that we've got on the, on the side there. You could use just about any hook. And that's going to go in the middle of the frame there. A little pilot hole and then a, we'll screw that in place. That's going to sit like that. So we want this off the ground so we know roughly how long our post is going to be. So what I've done there, they've just left that overhanging at the top, just 10 millimetres or so, just so you can hit that down with a hammer and really get a nice fixing into the ground. Right, so that's it, that's all done. That's everything done on our trick or treat. Halloween frame, um, nothing else to put on there really. Um, although I'm getting an idea now that we could use a little bit of glow in the dark paint if only we had some, right, so yeah, we're gonna put a little bit of glow in the dark paint on there. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Right, so that's it. That's our spooky motion sensor trick or treat sign. 
uh, really simple to make, cost us about 30 quid. I hope you've liked this video, and if you do, put a comment in the box below and let us know what you think. Have a really spooky Halloween, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Ooh.